Hey Pouring Nation, this week I got it into my head to create an angel wing pour, or a wing pour. And being a left-brained guy, I gotta figure out lots of little things to make sure that I can replicate that going forward. So over the next couple of videos, we're gonna look at how you pour the paint into the cup, what type of paint to use, how quickly you pour it off of the canvas, or pour it down the canvas to get that beautiful feathered look or angel wing look. So today we're going to talk about the different way we pour paint in the cup and the different effects we get because of that. Now this will help you with your ring pours, with your traveling ring pours, straight pours. It should help you understand how the paint comes out of the cup and what it looks like when it comes out of the cup. So let's get into it. All right, for this experiment we are going to use permanent black from Artist Touch, gold from Arteza, Titanium white from Liquitex Basics, and we're gonna augment that with some flow acrylic from Artist Loft. Now, you can't really use the flow acrylic by itself because it's not opaque enough. You need to add some opaque paint to really give it that uh, bright, continuous white color that we want down the center of the angel wing pour. So what we're gonna do today are four different tests. To prop up my canvas today, I'm gonna to use this center of a paper towel roll. So that's about an inch, inch and a half tall, and I'm just gonna put it under one of the sides here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four different cups, and we're gonna study what works with layering the paint in these cups. So the first cup, we're gonna do straight, just the three colors that we want. Generally, we want the most white, so we're gonna start with that. And we're gonna do a layer of black and a layer of gold. And these paints are all about one part paint, two parts pouring medium, give or take. So what we're hoping here is the gold comes out on the edges, the black comes out to kind of highlight the feathers, and then the white comes out in the center. So the next one we're gonna do is something similar, but we're gonna do a bit of white and then just a, a small bit of black, a small bit of gold, a little more white, black, again some gold. Now this is just a uh, kind of a change up on the first one where we're having two layers of each color instead of just the one thick layer of each color. So the next one I got from Olga Sobi at Smart Art Materials. Excellent website if you want to go there, I'll link below. But essentially what she did is she split her cup with a um, divider, all black on one side and then the black or the white and the color, so in this case the gold on the other side. So we're gonna try that. And I gotta pull the sticks out for me to do this. So there we go there. And I'll show you the side view here in just a second. And the last one, in case you're wondering, yes, I do take notes about how I'm doing this. The last one is from Kristen Oladader Steen. I don't know if I said that right, or KOS Art. I will also link that in the description below. And what she does, which is very interesting, is she puts a big section of white down first. And then she takes the black and only runs it around the outside and does a good amount, but only around the outside. So one difference I've made is I'm actually making it go all the way up the side of the cup also, because I think that does help how the paint comes out. And then we put a little bit more of the white just right in the center, nowhere else, just in the center. And then we layer our color on top, just on one side. Hey, we're in the middle of the video here and I want to ask you, have you tried a wing pour or an angel wing pour? If so, what did you find hardest to figure out? Let us know in the comments. Let's work together to figure out 
how we can all be better at this paint pouring technique. Right, so now we're gonna prop our canvas up. Again, this is a 16 by 20, and I'm propping it up the size of a paper towel roll, which is about inch, inch and a quarter. I'm just gonna put that on the corner here. We don't want any of this to affect our paint. So we're just gonna do each one here and look at each one separate. So the first one, again, this is the, it's hard to see there, but all white, then black, then gold, and that's it. And we're just gonna pour it in the exact same place and let it flow down. See how that ripple effect kind of makes the angel wings on either side? This side and that side? That's what we're looking for. So you can't paint, pour the paint too slowly. You have to pour it at a good clip. And then as we get to the end, we're just gonna kind of move up. So we did get a little bit here. They didn't really keep their form as it keeps coming down here and we kind of lost it at the end here. So this tells me that I probably had too much white at the bottom and it didn't start coming out too much. This tells me my paint is probably a little bit thinner than it needs to be, but we'll see with the other types. All right, so next we're gonna go with the lots of white, black, gold, a little bit of white, a little bit of black, a little bit of gold. And because we layered them flat, it really doesn't matter what side we pour off of. And I don't see the white here till the very, very end. I wonder if I had some white base, it would keep this from flowing too far with this version. We'll have to wait and see there. Now that we're in this video a ways, you have an idea of how my brain works and the type of things that I want to do in order to make sure that I get the results that I'm looking for. Left Brain Artist is really about helping new acrylic pour artists save money, save time, and create beautiful artwork. So if this is the type of content you're looking for, please subscribe, hit the like button, and also the bell notification so you get notified next time a new video comes out. All right, so the next one is the Smart Art Materials, uh, Olga Sobi with the split cup. I'm just gonna pull that out really quick. And we're gonna pour the black over the top of the other color. So the black is toward you and you're pouring off the colored way. Wow, I got none of the white. Now I've seen this work really well. So that tells me that I used way too much of the gold and didn't let the white come out. I wonder if that pops up here. Getting a little bit of white here, but I don't have the center white to outline my angel wings. So that won't work. All right, so the next, we had our colors here. I'm putting the, the gold is gonna come out first. This is again from KOS Art. There comes the white. I'm slow it down just slightly. I wanna get the paint to go back and forth. That's what makes the angel wings. I'm trying not to get it to go side to side. So, so far that one worked the best. Look at how beautiful those, those are. All right, so I think what I've learned is if I'm gonna do this one, I need way more white. I need to push the split cup over so I have lots of white on one side and a, kind of a thin, maybe two thirds, one third on the other side so I can get that item in the middle. One thing I do like is that I got a lot of the, the gold on the outside and that will actually show the angel wing on that one side, which will be cool. This one, I got the best pronounce, pronounced items. However, one problem I have with this is they're not thick enough, which means my paint needs to be thicker so I get longer bands of uh, colored paint. So all of these 
need to be thicker. I was doing, it was creating a mound and going away, or if you drizzled the paint in, it uh, was gone in about a second. I probably need to do mound upon a mound. If I drizzle the paint in, it takes two or three seconds to go away to get that consistent that, it, that I needed. So like I say, for me, I have to experiment. That's how I learn. So now I've learned a bunch of different things about what I'm gonna do. The next time I can increase the paint uh, viscosity so that it's thicker, so that I can get my more defined lines. And I think I wanna keep trying these two. I know this one works. I did it wrong. I wanna try that. I don't think these ones will really work. So we're gonna focus on these two, thicker paint, and see what we can't figure out. I never do like to leave a canvas uncovered and even with experiments you can make some pretty amazing art.